This lesson we're going to be looking at simple triggers and installable triggers and using a bound script in order to run some triggers. So it's looking at the on open, which is typically used to add menu items, but you can use it for other functions as well. Whenever the spreadsheet opens, uh, then we can run a function. So if you want to run this log me, that will run every time the spreadsheet opens. Also how we can add triggers. So using code in order to set up a trigger. Uh, so this is an installable trigger that will run the log me function uh, as a time-based trigger every four hours. And then we just run create. So you just need to run the script one time in order to add the trigger. In order to see the triggers that you have, you can also manually add triggers. So going into the triggers option on the left-hand side in the menu, there's the trigger that we created programmically. And we can see that we've got the parameters there that we set. Uh, you can also add a trigger and that will have the same pop-up to add the trigger. And then we can set the parameters for the trigger and add that trigger in for automation within the code. And then we've got various functions here. And the one that we're running is the log me function, which is going to be selecting the spreadsheet, creating a random number and updating the spreadsheet with a value. So every time we open up the sheet, that function is going to run and it's going to add that item into the sheet. So even if we have our code running in the background, so even if we have that code running in the background, we don't have to have the spreadsheet open and it will continue to log to it according to the trigger. So that's all coming up in this lesson. Go over to the drive and create a brand new spreadsheet. So under the new tab, click Google Sheets and that will create a brand new spreadsheet. And this is a sheet that we're gonna use in order to add some triggers. So we'll take, call it test triggers. And within the sheets, uh, we're renamed the first sheet to be a log. So we'll set up a way to log triggers. So there's a lot of different in simple triggers that already come with some of the applications. So we've seen that, that uh, the on open is a typical one that's used in order to run a function whenever the sheet is open. So going under extensions, let's open up the bound script editor and we'll create some of the triggers and then run those triggers within the code. So we'll call it test and automation. So this is a way that you can automate what happens with your Google script. And we did see within the web applications that we can use the do get and do post. So those are web app that are triggers that automatically run. There's another one that is contained within the sheets and document and presentation and forms. Uh, so this is the on open, which is going to run by default whenever the web page is or whenever the spreadsheet is opened. So let's select the UI object. So within the spreadsheet app, get the UI object. And this is a typical one where you might want to add a button to the top of the spreadsheet. So whenever the spreadsheet opens, we'll trigger the UI. And then for within the UI, we'll create a menu. And then we need to have a label or a caption for the menu. And then we can add multiple menu items. So adding an item. And these again are going to require some parameters. Uh, so one of them is going to be the name, the label. And the second one is going to be the function that gets run. And you can chain multiple items into the menu. And just for consistency. Uh, so we'll create a couple functions there that we can run. And then once you've set the items you want to add to the menu, you just uh, complete it with the add to UI. And I will create these functions that are going to run whenever they get clicked. So one of them is going to be test one. And the other one is going to be test two. And we'll create a separate function that's going to run the an alert so that we can output some content and whatever value we want to output. Uh, so this will return back. So we'll just uh, run the UI object. So using the spreadsheet app, get the UI, and then we're going to just create a simple alert with whatever we have for the value message. And within both of these functions, we'll just output whatever we have for the value. So this one just be test one as the output. And then the second one will be test two as the output. So now let's run the code. And because this is a bound script, we are able to add this function. And this is a, one of the simple triggers. We can also add in on edit triggers as well. So let's take a look at those. 
Uh, so let's run the on open. And this is just a default function that's going to run whenever the spreadsheet is opened. So it's adding the menu item into the spreadsheet. So there's our menu item. When we click those, we run the alerts and we output the corresponding content from the alerts. Let's try another, a few other simple triggers. And with the spreadsheets, there's quite a few there. Uh, so there's another one and these are all default. So there's the on edit. And this is actually passing in uh, the E parameters. So whenever the content is edited within the spreadsheet, we can run a trigger. And for this one, we can do a JSON stringify the event object. So once that's added, if I edit any of the content, it's going to have that pop up. And this is the values that we're getting sent. So we get the user that made the edit, the nickname of the user, uh, the range that the user edited, and what was edited, the value that it was edited. So you can track all of the information. And that's capturing the event object whenever the spreadsheet content is edited. So I'm actually going to comment that out. And you can also have installable triggers. So these are triggers that you can run within the app script automatically. And they're more flexible than the simple triggers because you can call various functions in order to run. So if we had a function and I'll call it log me. And then for this function, what it's going to do is it'll select the spreadsheet. So using the spreadsheet app, get, and actually it's going to, we'll just do an open by ID and then we'll get the ID of the spreadsheet. So this way it can also work within a standalone application, the same code. Because the installable triggers, they don't have to be tied to a bound script. So you've got more flexibility with those. And here we're going to open, or it's uh, get sheet by name. And the sheet that we're going to be selecting is the one with the name of log that we just set up. And then within the sheet, we can make some updates to the log content by selecting the sheet using the append row. And let's uh, add in some content into the row. We'll generate a random number. And this is just using JavaScript. So do math floor and then math random. And we'll generate a number. So multiply it by a thousand. And that way we'll have a different number there every time. So every time the log me runs, and we can do a test run of it, accept the permissions. As without the permissions, it's selecting the spreadsheet, making some updates to the spreadsheet content. So every time you need to accept the permissions. So once that executes, that's going to add that value to the spreadsheet. And we can set this up on various triggers. So now that we've set it up, you can go on the left-hand side, there's a menu that's called Triggers. And from here, you can select to add a trigger. And within the trigger, we're going to have a selection of any one of the functions within our app script. The one that we want to use is LogMe. Choose the deployment should run. So in most cases, you've just got the head that you can run it within. The select event source. So we've got a number of different options here. We can select it from the spreadsheet action can select it from the calendar or most commonly for the automation we've got the time driven and the time driven is similar to in programming when you're using a cron job so this is an event that script executes in a particular time and you can also set it to have it in reoccurring intervals uh, setting up the different frequency so for the interval we can set it to run every hour every two hours four six eight twelve so let's set it to run every hour you also have some options here, so specific specific date and time. So from here, you'd have to enter in the time that you want it to run. You can also run it within the minute, so you could potentially run it every minute. And this is a time-driven add-on, so the time isn't going to be exactly every hour. It might be slightly randomized or might be slightly off. And it all depends on the Google servers when it's going to be able to run. So setting it up to run every minute. And then this is also where you can get notified to your email account. So typically I will set it to notify me immediately, but you can also set it for hourly, daily, and weekly. 
So it depends on how much closely you want to monitor this automation. And once you've set up the trigger, just hit save and that's going to run the triggers. You're going to have a list here whenever you go into the trigger. So you can go back to the editor and check back every once in a while within the triggers to see if any of them have run. You've got details here. You can also, if you have a lot of information here within the automation, you can filter through that information and return back items. Maybe if you're looking for ones that have an error or were particularly run. So it gives you details about the trigger. You can also edit the trigger and that will just open up that same window that we were just looking at. And then also within the trigger here, you can delete the trigger. You can check out the executions, failed executions. So you can get some additional information on those triggers. You can add in multiple triggers that will run different scripts or the same script. So it's completely optional and depending on what you want to accomplish with the triggers. You can also set the triggers using script. So going back into the script code, I'll show you how you can set a time driven trigger and we'll call it create timers. And so what we can do is using the script app service, we can generate a new trigger. And this is where we need to specify the function that we want to run from the trigger. So we'll run the log me function. It's expecting a string value for the log me. And then we need to set the parameters. So this is object based. So setting it up as time based. And within the time based, you've got the same options. So we want it to run every hours. And then we just need to enter a numeric value. So we want to run every four hours. And then the last part is to create that object. So this will create the trigger when we run the function create timers. So let's run that. And we need to accept permissions as this is automatically adding the trigger to run within our script. So let's uh, accept the permissions for that. And now when we go back to the triggers, we're going to see that new trigger has also been added. So we've got the trigger and then the new one that we just added. So you can delete these. So going over and deleting the other trigger. And so we're just left with the one trigger that's going to be running and you can also, the ones that you created, you can also update the parameters. So we had set it to every four hours within the script. And within the spreadsheet, we can see that the trigger ran a few times there and logged some information. So that's how you can set up automation within your Google Apps script.